This is Roger with Wheel Kinetics in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this vehicle. It is a 2007 Lexus 400H. Front wheel drive has 46,000 miles. It was purchased directly from an insurance company uh, as a theft recovery. Uh, it's a, on a salvage title due to theft, not collision. Um, in our ad, we will have before and after pictures. Uh, we did have some paint work done on it just because it might be my driver for quite some time. So, we wanted to make it really, really nice. We also bought two uh, new Michelin tires. Um, anyway, I'm going to walk you around and I'll tell you what's going on. Um, it's a salvage title due to theft, not collision. Um, if you watch the little video in our ad, you'll be able to understand how that works. Basically, the insurance companies don't want any liability. Uh, so they throw these things under the bus. They, uh, a clear title implies that they know that they're selling me or you or whoever that gets this thing next a car that they know is good so instead of doing that and getting sued again or losing even more money um, they just throw the paperwork under the bus and that protects them in other words this car is gone from their lives anyway we did not replace the front tires the front tires were what was on it we just bought matching rears for the front uh, the fronts are probably 50 60% tread and the rears are 100% tread. Now, in the pictures you'll see they opened, somebody opened the hood and, the, and took the hood strut, unclipped the hood strut off on the other side, on the passenger side of the hood, and it was hanging out of the hood. And I'm not sure if they took the hood off or someone, someone scraped up the, I don't know, the hood was all scraped up. The hood is original. We just had it sanded and painted. The paint shop that did it did an unbelievable job. They're a very good paint shop. Um, but to make everything match, they had to paint the fender, the front bumper, um, and they called me and said that they wanted to buy a new fender. There was a nice little dent like right here that was about from here to here. We have the fender at our shop. I saved it so that you know it wasn't like hammered. Um, and you'll be able to see the before and after pictures. But... Uh, I thought they'd be able to fix it, and they said it would be a lot cheaper and nicer if we, they didn't fix it, if they just got a new one. Anyhow, they did a really, really nice job. Um, and then while they were at it, I told them there was a scrape on the rear bumper, and I was like, if it's going to be my car, I would like it to be really nice. Anyway, everything in my life is for sale, including my house, except for my kids, sometimes. Um, <laughs> uh, anyhow... Uh, I'm making this video anyway. Like I said, we didn't paint the whole car, just what we needed to paint. A couple little things there. A little tube of touch up paint would finish the rest of this thing. It's a really pretty car. Really pretty car. There's a little something right there. Actually, that was just dirt. Anyway, these are brand new tires there. Now this thing hasn't been been to detail after paint, believe it or not. Uh, it's going to go to detail. This is uh, Saturday morning, really, or about six, uh, about 6.30 in the morning. Uh, so the kids have been in it. I've been in it for a night, and this is what it looks like. Um, anyway, it's going to get detailed, which will make it look even better than it already does. There's nothing really... Oh, you know what I did notice? I guess this is, they're known for this. Whatever the paint is on top of this uh, uh, wind deflector, whatever you call it, always gets funky. Which I just told them, eh, we were going to shoot it. I said, you know what? I don't think it matters. I mean, the scrapes were like right here on both sides. Um, almost couldn't see them, but I just wanted to make sure that it was in really good shape. Here's the uh, rear tire. Let's see. What do we got going on here? Looks like somebody, somebody heavy or something heavy was sat there. It was uh, a couple days ago. It was much more indented than that. And now it's starting to slowly come up. So I think it'll be alright.
hair. There's a little tear right there. Right there. And let's see, there's another one somewhere. I'm going to walk around it. Actually, I'm going to start the car right now. I'm going to open the hood. By the way, this is my first hybrid car, and it freaks me out. I'll be the first to admit it. It's running right now. Isn't that the weirdest thing? When it says ready right there, it's running. It's bizarre. <laughs> Got this little electric sound going on under the hood. Just bizarre. <laughs> Isn't that weird? It's running. That's just weird. I'm um, gonna have a hard time getting used to that. Anyway, there's your stickers underneath the hood, so you know it's the original hood. All that stuff. Um, there's your uh, stick, uh, your bin on this one. This fender doesn't have a bin on it because we replaced this fender. Please look at the uh, at the at the uh, before and after pictures, and you'll probably wonder, like I did, why we had to replace the fender. Um, I think it was kind of silly, a waste of money, but. The painter said that it would look better. So, whatever. There's your, there's your rear window. It's a beautiful car. God, it runs like brand new. Oh, there's a little nick right here. Our guy uh, fixed. There's all your bins, by the way. So you see them. We'll see them on this door too. Yeah, there's them in there. Just a really pretty car. Can't believe the size of the manuals in this thing. God. I mean, I saw this. I'm like, what is this one for? When we have this one, I mean, there's a ton of information that's in the car um, to help you understand the vehicle. I'm gonna make sure that we got. There's the back seat. The seat back. Up, back, up, down, up, down. Let's see. Let's do this. Let's see if we can see a. There it goes. I can see the uh, lumbar working. So that all works. Put these manuals back on the seat here. Look under the carpet. Nothing going on there. Let's see. Oop. Can't lock the car with the keys in the ignition. But if I was in the front seat, they would be locking. Let's see, what else have we got going on here? Uh, little compartments here in the back. One thing we are missing is this cargo cover. Whoever stole the car originally probably snagged that for whatever dumb reason. There's all your tools. And let's see, hit this button. And we get that. Alrighty then. Let's see, what else we got going on here? Alright. Driver window. Let's see, we've got the child marks on. Okay, let's see what else we got. We got memory seats. I think these are heated too. I saw some heating buttons there. Forward, back, let's see, down, up, up, down. And obviously, you got side airbags. Let's see, there's the lumbar. That's there. Some cool little controls in here I saw here. Let's see. There's your mirror. Out, in, up, down. Switch to the other side. Out, in, up, down. What is this going on here? I'm not sure what that does. Oh, maybe it just makes it so you can 
actually use the button or something. I don't know. We have tilt. Uh, we have power tilt. And there you go. Perfect. All right. Now, let's see. I'm in the car. I'm in the space controller. This thing is crazy. I sat in this thing for two hours yesterday wondering what was going on. Alright, there's your uh, map. I'm up in La Paloma, northern Tucson right now. Let's check the moon room. Here's that. Let's see, in the center console we've got this deal. There's a cup holder. Let's see, get this. Some more stuff there. Let's see. Close. Bang. You got some heated seats. I guess those are light cleaners, headlight cleaners, with a little spray nozzle on there. For some reason, they think we're all 110 years old and we have cassettes. I'm not really sure what that's about. Um, let's see. Cruise control. There's cruise control. Let's see. Turn that down. Let's see. We'll go through the menu. What do we got going on here? There's all that. Climate. Like this. That works. Let's see. Display. Change your displays a little bit. There's the audio part. to show you. There's that. Let's go for going a ride here. Now, if you're going to come to Tucson to drive it home, which I highly recommend, uh, just because it would be a nice trip, maybe uh, get a room up here at the Westin, La Paloma, right down the street, a little plug for the city. Um, if you come during the weekday between like 8 and 3 at the airport, we'll pick you up in your car and, and uh, go from there. We'll have the paperwork all ready to go. But if you come, there's uh, here are the costs involved. Uh, because it's not a salvage title, we have to get a restored salvage title. We will do that for you. Take it to motor vehicles at 6 in the morning. Wait with it like we're required to do. Until we get the level 3 inspection done, then we'll get the restored salvage title. At that point, the reason you have to get this done is that then you can get plates and you can get insurance. So. There you go. Then you might want to watch the cluster instead of listening to me. Anyway, so it's $200 to restore the title. And it's... $250 in dock fees and it's taxes. Taxes are 2% city sales tax in Tucson plus whatever your state tax rate is. If you're from Alaska, that's zero. So all you're going to pay is 2% tax, $250 dock fee, and $200 to restore the title. Um, if you're from Arizona, it's 7.1% tax. So you've got 9.1% tax, $250 dock fee, and $200 to restore the title. If you... Uh, pay by wire and ship. All you pay is the agreed upon price and nothing else. Um, unless you want us to restore the title, which I highly recommend. Uh, if you have us restore the title, uh, it'll ship. Once we get full payment, we'll uh, mail off the title. Either way, we'll mail off the title if you just want us to, you know, if you want to keep it salvaged. Um, anyhow, that is all. Please have a good day and a good weekend. This is a beautiful car. I'm going to enjoy riding, driving it until it's gone, which will probably be pretty quickly. Thank you.